Hey everyone, my name is Christine. I'm the founder of Gear Survivor. Today, uh, as with the last week, I've been in my home, kind of just self-quarantine. Um, I live in California and the whole shelter in place is mandated across the whole state. So uh, there's a lot going on in our world, a lot, a lot to figure out, a lot to navigate, a lot of unknowns right now. And for me, the way that I personally process is just to like make art, make stuff, um, make piece of clothing, make food, I don't know. So I wanna bring you guys a couple of DIY videos that if you're looking for something to do, if you're looking for something to make, here's, yeah, just some projects for you to, to try. So today I'm gonna to teach you guys how to make a scrunchie. Um, very basic, if you've never sewn before, I think you'll be good. You should be able to do it. If you have a needle and thread in the house, some scrap fabric, um, yeah. I think you can do it, so let's give it a shot. Okay, so to make a pattern, I just typically sketch it out, um, and then I transfer that onto computer paper that I kind of just tape together to, to fit my measurements. So just making a large 20 inch by six inch rectangle. Next, I choose my fabric. I happen to have a lot of fabric at my house, but if you don't, you can just use like an old stained t-shirt or something that you have on hand. Um, yep, I lay my pattern down and then I just kind of do like little dashes around the edges with a pen. Um, and then once we start cutting it, you just make sure to cut within the ink so that you don't have like pen marks on your actual fabric. So yeah, now I have my nice rectangle. Now it's time to thread the needle. Um, just get a good amount of thread on there. Um, I never measure it out, I just kind of eyeball it. Um, yeah, and then when I when I put the needle on, I, I typically double it. So put the needle in the middle and then tie the knot at the end so it's like double thick. Um, I'm just using a regular hair tie for this so that that's just what I had on hand. Um, so yeah, you'll just wrap your fabric around it, fold it. Um, and just gonna start sewing. So this is how we just tie a knot, just simple, in, out, and then just tie it. Um, you'll see like when sewing, you tie, you, you sew everything in reverse, so there's gonna be like a raw seam. So this is the basic stitch we're doing. I don't know what it's called. I don't have, I don't actually know the, the rules of sewing, but this is how I do it. Um, just a basic like in and out, in and out, in and out. Um, and then, yeah, so like, so you can see, it's kind of like all gathering there on my needle and then I'll pull it through. And just, yeah, when you pull it through, just be careful to not let the, the thread tangle. So yeah, just kind of go in and out. Oh, hey Cody, he forgot I was filming. Look at how cute he is. Oh, and there's my brother-in-law, hey, quarantine time. Yep, so just gonna finish that around the circle. It's just a loose stitch, nothing exciting. Um, so, 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 pull it through. And then it's time to inside out it so that that raw seam is now gonna be on the inside and it's just gonna look clean and nice on the outside. So this is probably the hardest part. I'm gonna fold in one side of it and stick in the other side. This is so that when I finish it off, there's not gonna be any frays. So I'm just gonna use a pin and pin that down once it's in place. And then we're just gonna do the same thing. Start your, your sewing by just tying a knot and then just kind of going for it. Um, in, out, in, out, in, out. And then you'll end it with a, a just, yeah, end it with a knot. Trim it, get your loose threads away. And yeah, that's how you make a very basic scrunchy DIY. Pull out the pin and then yeah, just go ahead and try it on. Would love to see you guys make them. So if you do, tag me, would love to see. Have fun. All right, thanks for watching my first DIY video. Um, I hope you give it a shot. I hope you make yourself your very own scrunchie. Um, and yeah, this is a crazy time in the world, but we're all gonna pull through and I'm hoping that the world will be a better place because of this collective experience that we're all sharing. So yeah, have a great week and stay tuned for future fun DIY things. Bye.